Is that a shiny new Apple Watch on your wrist? How do you like it? Let's take a look at some of the settings you can change to make your experience even better. This watch right here is the Apple Watch Series 7, running the latest Watch OS 8 update, and it's paired to this iPhone 13 Pro. However, all of these tips will apply to the Apple Watch SE and the Series 3, and with whichever iPhone your watch has been paired. I do encourage you to upgrade to the latest Watch OS, but even if you don't, these tips will basically still hold true. And if you're watching this video, odds are you already own an Apple Watch. But if not, you can find all of our reviews on our YouTube page and on CNET.com. I'll put some links in the description to help you find what you're looking for. But with that due diligence out of the way, let's get your new Apple Watch ready for action. The Apple Watch is a very robust activity tracker. It helps you monitor your movement goals and encourages you to get up out of your chair more often but the default goals may not match your personal goals. So instead of using the defaults, 640 calories, 30 minutes of exercise, and a cumulative 12 standing hours a day, you can change them to fit your actual daily routine. To change those goals, open the activity app on your watch, scroll to the bottom and tap change goals, and make your adjustments for all three metrics, calories, exercise, and standing. I know that doesn't mean you're supposed to stand up for 12 hours a day. It's just a reminder to stand up and move around for at least a minute every hour. Now get started closing those rings. Watch OS 8 now lets you use portrait mode photos as the background for your watch face. For this, you'll need to dig into the settings in the watch app on your iPhone. Navigate to the face gallery tab at the bottom of your screen, then scroll all the way down until you find portraits. Under content, tap choose photos. Now you can select up to 24 photos that will rotate automatically when you raise your wrist or tap the screen. The Honeycomb App Grid is definitely a unique way to present all the apps on your Apple Watch, but it can be difficult to find the app you want to use, especially if you have a lot of them. Instead of a grid, the watch can display all of your apps in an alphabetical list. Either in the watch app on your phone, or in the settings app on the watch, tap app view. And then list view. Now when you press the digital crown to leave your watch face, you'll see a list of apps that you can quickly scroll through and find what you're looking for. Another way you can keep things tidy is to limit the number of apps you have installed in the first place. Normally, whenever you install an app on your iPhone, it will automatically install its Apple Watch counterpart if there is one. But there's an easy way to avoid cluttering up your grid with unwanted apps so you can still find the ones you want to use. Open the Settings app, scroll down to App Store, and turn off Automatic Downloads. From now on, you'll install individual apps on your watch by opening the Watch app on your phone and then scroll to the bottom where you'll find a list of available apps. Then just tap install and you'll find the new app on your watch. If you're finding that reading notifications and news headlines on the watch's small screen is too difficult, you can increase the font size on the Apple Watch to make things a bit easier on your eyes. Can you guess where to go to change the font size? That's right, go to the settings app, then choose Display and Brightness, and select Text Size. Rotate the digital crown, or tap the letters that appear on either side of the meter to adjust the text size on your watch. You can also turn on bold text to make the words stand out a little more. To take a screenshot on the Apple Watch, you press the digital crown and side button at the same time. It's a simple and convenient method, maybe too simple. You might find yourself triggering it accidentally, filling up the Photos app with random pictures of your watch face. To turn off the ability to take screenshots altogether, open the Settings app, go to General, and scroll down until you find Screenshots. Turn it off here to prevent any accidental pictures. You can also use the Watch app on your phone to turn off the feature, or turn it back on when you feel like you can trust yourself. Prior to Watch OS 8, new Apple Watch owners might have gotten a good chuckle the first few times their new watch reminded them to breathe. 
Perhaps Apple got the hint, because in the new watchOS, the breathe reminder has been replaced with a nudge to be more mindful. Whatever it's called, the reminder is designed to help you take a few minutes to clear your mind to control your respiration, in turn lowering your heart rate and potentially helping you feel more centered and calm. The mindfulness app now has two choices. You can choose to reflect or to breathe. For me though, I feel like I always get the reminder when I'm in the middle of doing something else that I don't care to stop. So to take control of these reminders, in the watch app on your phone, scroll down and tap mindfulness. Now you can choose if you'd like to see these reminders at the start or end of your day, schedule them for a specific time, or turn them off completely. If your watch isn't running watchOS 8 yet, this will appear as breathe instead of mindfulness. And even if you've got the reminders turned off, you can still open up the mindfulness app on your own whenever you feel like taking a minute to chill out. Just like the control center on your iPhone, control center on the Apple Watch is where you go to quickly adjust settings like do not disturb and airplane mode. To access control center on your watch, swipe up from the bottom of the watch face. Or if using an app, you can long press the bottom of the screen until you see control center start to slide up, and then slide your finger up to access it. You may find the default list of options in the control center isn't the best fit for how you use your watch though. To change this, tap the edit button at the bottom of the list. When the icons start to jiggle, you can change the order by dragging them around, tap the red minus button to hide any you don't want to use, or in the more section, tap the green plus to add them. When you're done, tap done, or press the digital crown on the side of your watch to go back to the watch face. There are three different ways to use Siri on the Apple Watch. You can raise your wrist towards your mouth and start talking, long press the digital crown, or use the wake phrase you see here on your screen. If you find that you're accidentally triggering Siri when you try and check the time, or you're holding down the digital crown a bit too long, you can change when Siri is summoned. Either in the watch app on your phone, or in the settings app on your watch, select Siri. You'll find three buttons to control when you might choose to get Siri's attention. Slide each button to the off position for any of the options you don't want to use or turn them all off to keep Siri out of the conversation completely. You can also choose when to hear Siri's voice feedback if you feel like they're getting a bit too chatty. Okay, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully now your watch is set up more to your liking. Be sure to check out some of our other Apple Watch videos, like how to use it with an electric bike, or see how the Series 7 holds up underwater and in a vacuum. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.